Welcome to the feature release video for Center Edge Advantage version 18.1. We've got lots in store for you that all start with a new process that we're rolling out. You've probably heard that with the release of Advantage version 18.1, we're moving to a long-term support model in order to minimize interruptions to your day-to-day -day business. This means you want to go ahead and schedule your upgrade as soon as it becomes available so that you are on the most recent version. Going forward, as long as you've upgraded to at least 18.1, any and all patches in this year's releases will be automatically downloaded for you to install at your convenience. Then, you'll only need to upgrade to new versions if there's a particular feature that you'd like to have or if you just want to wait for a slow time in your business like postseason. You can schedule your upgrade as soon as it becomes available by opening a ticket in Manager Console, sending an email to our support team, or by calling our support line. Oh, by the way, you also have another way to give us feedback. Inside Manager Console, in addition to our online help portal and ticket submission, you can now send us thoughts or suggestions directly from your software. So now, what are some of the new features that we've got in 18.1? Well, we've begun updating our look and feel in the software with a new minimalistic background, icons, and buttons. This is just the start of the experience enhancements that we're making for you and your front line. And as always, you'll be able to customize your point of sale buttons in a way that suits your facility needs. We've also updated our email templates to include an HTML editor so that you can customize your emails that you send to guests and party planners. This new HTML editor view allows source editing so that you can add backgrounds, images, and links to videos that will match your facility's unique branding in the communications that you send to guests. In addition to look and feel, you are going to see a lot more efficiencies at your front line, such as you can now save gift cards or game cards to any open check in the point of sale, like in your cafe or at your mobile stations or cabanas. You can easily add these other items with, without guests having to revisit an admission station or cashier. To streamline your point of sale screens, you can now group passes under a single point of sale button as a modifier, with cashiers then choosing the pass to be sold during the transaction. This is going to make your transaction faster without sacrificing the detailed reporting that you need so that you can see overall pass sales as well as the individual ones. And when you're conducting a transaction with a guest that has multiple passes on file, you can now even select the specific pass a guest would like to use. And if you tie a pass or anything else you sell to a customer profile, you'll be able to see your guest's age and date of birth displayed on screen during the transaction to help you when you have to verify age when selling an item. To give you another temporary form of payment media to offer your guests, barcoded tickets or wristbands can now be tokenized. This is in addition to the functionality you've already had with RFID wristbands and game cards. With this new capability, you can print a barcoded ticket, let's say for a one day admission, and have the token applied to that paper wristband and provide your guests with an easy way to make purchases throughout your facility. And if you sell memberships with recurring billing for automatic renewal, you'll be happy to know that you can set renewal dates on different types of memberships to renew on either a fixed day monthly or a fixed date annually. This will help you manage your billing cycles as you see fit. Now, keep in mind that this initial iteration of date-specific renewals doesn't automatically prorate pricing so, for example, if you sell a membership on the 20th that you'd like to automatically renew every month on the 30th, you'll want to determine how to handle prorating the 10 days of the current month. But you've got the flexibility to handle prorating memberships in a way that's best for your business model. Next, you can be even more proactive when creating retail items in advance. Let's say you want to get ahead of things by adding all of your spring t-shirt or food and beverage promotions now, but you don't want them to appear in the point of sale or in your web store until a later date, or maybe for a period of time. Now you can set those dates to manage when items appear on screen and for how long with the item retiring itself at the end date. And finally, we've made some additional enhancements to our classes module. Selling classes will now be easier with those that are no longer available not appearing on screen any longer. 
that's going to make it easier for your cashiers to see which classes are available to sell. And your instructors will thank you now that you can quickly print rosters from your point of sale station, giving your cashiers the ability to print a quick roster on receipt paper for your class instructors without having to have access to manager console. So these are just a few of the enhancements coming your way, so do be sure and sign up for our training webinar to discuss these and the rest of the new features, and then watch for our notifications so you can schedule your upgrade. Thanks and have a great day!